So, here I am again. <laughs> Just needed to get some stuff out. Um, everybody knows having cancer is tough. But, you know, you always hear about, every, you know, so many people, you know, oh, they beat it, they survive. But then you get the group that, you know, that just doesn't that just keep fighting and keep fighting and they don't get that chance. I was literally <laughs> cancer free for exactly a year. And <laughs> now it's been let's see two more years of fighting and <laughs> oh it's raging its ugly head again. Um, and, you know, you start getting to those points where you're thinking, when do you stop? You know, all I keep asking for is time. I just want time. I want time with my niece. I want time to experience as much as I can. But I know time is running out. And it's hard. It is very hard realize that and I don't know you know you know it's you know every new ache or pain is 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 that something happening is that you know cancer growing is that <laughs> another sign or am I just you know, going crazy too, you know. I'm trying so hard to make sure there's memories for my niece of me. She never knew my mom and now she's gonna lose her aunt as a little kid and that's not fair. It's not fair for her, and I just want her to have memories of me that, you know, she can look back on, you know, reduce, you know, <laughs> but how much will she remember, you know, she's going to be turning seven. I don't remember a lot from when I was seven, but I can only do so much. I can only fight so much. Also, you know, you go in for you go in talk about how <laughs> things are, you know, feeling worse. Send you for scans. Oh, you know. There's some funny stuff going on, but don't worry, it's not big yet, so we got time. Are you really sure? You know, stuff has doubled in a month and since my last scan, but we got time. You know, and it's like, what? You know, there's things I want to do. Some of them are silly, but some are things that are just special to me, you know, and I don't think they will ever happen because I have a support system, but <laughs> sometimes I don't think they fully get it. And, but I'd love them. I'd love them to death. They try. But, there's only so much I can do on my own. You know, the person that had that strong, brave face all the time. I'm the one that's got the smile all the time. We're coming up on the anniversary of my mom's death. It'll be 14 years. So, you know, 
it's already a tough time of the year and to throw all this on top of it just isn't easy. <laughs> so, <laughs> hopefully my next video will be a whole lot happier, but I just, you know, you need to see the good and the bad. <laughs> you know, it's always, you know, videos of people being so joyous. Their kids are free. Oh, they went for their next kids, and they still got no cancer back. And I'm like, I'm happy for them. But I will never receive that news again. I, you know, I'm excited if I hear that they're stable. And that's sad. You know, that's sad. That at 36, almost 37 that I will never hear that I'm cancer free again that I know this is going to kill me at some point and I feel like it's becoming sooner than later at this point so we'll, we'll see what happens next have a great day